Hello again to another day in Minecraft. Today we are at the uh, top of the uh, wizard tower, or almost the top, uh, and have a look at the uh, surroundings. And there is one job still open to do. It's a landscaping job to uh, basically uh, make this uh, area surrounding the uh, wizard tower a bit more ominous. And for that I have decided to basically uh, dig out the uh, area around it. So uh, the uh, tower stands on an island and is surrounded by uh, sheer cliff faces and then here on the uh, front we will have a bridge uh, that goes over that uh, expanse. So I think here I have uh, my work uh, cut out. So first get rid of the uh, water in in these rivers and uh, then I probably also will get rid of this lush island here because it's just not fitting with the uh, theme and here in the back I think we go up to uh, that dirt cliff and uh, then uh, basically we fall down to the ground but uh, the idea is that uh, all that's uh, here plain stone this is this is part of the uh, rocky island so uh, the tower basically stands on a rocky outcrop and uh, yeah, we have to make this uh, happen. So uh, it's a lot of work. Will not be done today, but I need to get a start somewhere. So I think I will get you back once I've made some progress, uh, at least with the uh, getting rid of all the uh, waters and have a more clear uh, outline um, what areas need to be dug out. So I managed to uh, clear out a bit of forest and uh, sectioned off uh, the uh, waterways so uh, we will dry everything up to uh, this sun barrier there, then uh, I cleared out uh, this area uh, which basically goes around to uh, here and on uh, this side we also have barriers. I'm not quite sure what I should do in uh, this area but maybe we can close up this uh, gap with uh, filling up uh, some some land and create a slope then that then pits down into uh, the uh, ravine. But actually, I on this side I uh, started to dry up some of the uh, sections and. I wanted to show you a neat trick uh, how you can do this pretty efficiently especially in uh, in deeper waterways uh, where it's just one or two deep it's easy thing to just uh, uh, place a sponge there and get it done but for the uh, deeper bits uh, we have basically sections of uh, five wide water then go to the uh, middle that would be this one place a sponge 
then go out three blocks and place the next sponge basically you go out until you have the the first full water block and you repeat this until you have dried up everything so as you can see it's sometimes it's uh, two blocks in between sometimes it's three blocks sometimes it's one block probably because I did not uh, uh, section it off on uh, this side but now we should be good it's three again Another three. And we are down by two levels. And so let's uh, uh, let's first collect this. We do that with a shovel while walking back. Sponges there, and so in the meantime, I've done some shoveling and removed all the uh, sand, dirt, and uh, gravel. Essentially, all the uh, shovable blocks uh, from the uh, top side, and uh, this should give us a pretty good idea about the uh, parameter of that we have to dig out. So I had a look um, on this side we have a, a quite big open corner and uh, below it uh, there is a slime chunk so let's land on here um, in that area so um, maybe uh, we will have a, a underground slime farm there and then on this side I just uh, marked out a curve and then we will probably uh, build up uh, the hill around this side a bit and on the uh, front side I was thinking that we can do uh, basically all around this uh, a waterfall um, I have a vision but I'm not even sure if uh, that's possible but uh, that's definitely a project for another time and on uh, this side uh, we also have uh, a quite a big open area um, not yet sure what to do with uh, that one uh, yeah we will see but now I have some shovels to repair and uh, some more digging to do and also basically uh, 
all these uh, sheer cliffs. Um, for the moment I will just take straight straight down. I'm not quite sure to, uh, to what level yet, but it will be uh, pretty pretty deep. So see you in a bit, at least for you. For me it will be several hours of grind. So since the last clip some time has passed, several days of grinding, using up several uh, picks, well not using up, uh, only one broke, uh, but in between mining session I had to repair them, so uh, that also took a bit of time to uh, uh, save up the uh, XP in our XP machine. But now it's uh, done. All the area around here is dug out. Um, down to uh, uh, level 30. Looking at 30 there in the uh, left somewhere looking at block yeah so basically uh, in here down here there is a ravine on it there we have a lava patch and in this chunk we have a slime chunk we have another slime chunk over here and a third one over there and then below here uh, bending to the uh, left we have another uh, ravine and up here I almost forgot about this uh, we have a zombie spawner I'm not sure what to do with that one uh, because uh, uh, some beeps are not particularly uh, useful. Um, we don't need the rotten flesh and I think our uh, XP machine is more efficient than the uh, uh, scaly spawner would be in that regard. So next steps here, but that's for another video, uh, will be to uh, uh, clean up all these uh, walls, dress up the uh, middle island in here, um, and then I will have to decide uh, which slime chunk to use for the uh, slime farm and then probably it's probably one of, of these two um, down in uh, this area which is basically a wide open area I have no idea yet what to do um, one thing would be uh, uh, we have our storage down here, but it's a bit inconvenient uh, to uh, access it from above there. Another idea that uh, I had is uh, moving the uh, our smelter array over here and uh, uh, make it even uh, more super smelter um, but I have not yet decided so uh, uh, let's quit rambling on thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one bye